Hello and welcome to this Photoshop Island 2013 calendar tutorial. This tutorial is a supplement to the existing Photoshop Island uh, calendar tutorials. What's new in the 2013 calendars is shape layers. And uh, once you get your uh, 2013 calendar product unzipped and you take a look at it, you'll see that each style of calendar contains this new layer shapes 2013 PSD. Now let's take a look at a photograph and what we want to do is end up with a calendar that looks something like this. So let's see how we get there. I'm just going to revert this file real quick and I'm going to close this file briefly so that you can see where I'm starting. Back to the finder. I'm going to put a 3 by 4 calendar on top of that photograph. So this is a PSD. I'm just going to double click on it to open it up in Photoshop. Here we are in Photoshop. You'll notice that this file has a series of layers and uh, each layer is a different calendar design. If you toggle through the different layers you can see that there's a little bit different design on each layer and you can roll through here and then identify the design that appeals to you. For this particular project I think I'll use this particular style. Then what you want to do is just move this shape layer into your photograph. So I'm going to find a point here up here by these larger numbers. It's pretty easy. I'm going to click down and make sure that I have that shape layer selected. I'm going to click down holding my mouse button down. I'm going to drag up here in the tab. The newer versions of Photoshop have this tab uh, option where you can have multiple files open and see the tabs. I'm just going to drop this calendar in. Now what you'll see if you haven't uh, check don't show this again you'll see that there's a, a difference in the color sources for the two different files um, what you want to do is go ahead and and work with whatever your photographic uh, the photograph that you're working with color space so you can just click OK on that and then you can see here I'm going to zoom in a little bit here's the calendar that we just pulled in so we were looking at in the other document and um, I'm going to zoom back out. You can see that it's there, but as you can see, this is going to be much too small for us to use. So what you can do is you can transform, and that's under the menu, under uh, Free Transform. And you can see now that we have some uh, grabber points here. And then I'm going to hold down on the Shift and the Option key to constrain the proportion so that we don't distort our calendar too much and uh, then you can just kind of drag drag it around shift shift and option again I'm gonna kind of get this calendar where I want it I'm holding the shift key now just kind of constraining the calendar shape and then I'm gonna hit the return key to accept that transform so now we have the calendar at the size we want, we want. and if you look uh, closely here you can see that this is a very high resolution so you'll retain uh, the resolution of this calendar uh, pretty much no matter what the resolution of your image is um, and then I'd like to set this calendar off a little bit from the background so I'm going to add a shape layer I'm going to click, click on the shapes I have shape layer selected here I'm going to go make sure I have this background layer selected because I want to draw my shape above the photograph. I'm going to drop me a shape about right here. That shape is came in as black which is what I had set in my uh, swatches so I'm going to double click on that and just change it to white for this particular example. You can use whatever you'd like. And then I'm going to change the opacity to maybe 60 percent maybe 50 just to kind of to your taste maybe 70 percent. Uh, and then you've got a nice calendar you can see that it still retains all of its fine detail. This is a very high resolution image. You can see when we look at the details here that this is a large image. And the other great thing about these shape layers is that you could also um, you can also add layer effects to it. So 
if you wanted to, for example, drop a uh, drop shadow on this, you can go to Layer Style and Drop Shadow. It's going to bring up the menu. I'm going to just scooch this over to the side. If you look closely here now, you can see that we have a, a shadow going back behind, and you just basically have all your standard uh, layer shadow options. So if for some reason you wanted to put a, a little drop shadow on that, um, you could do that as well. You, can, you have all the normal controls in here to do something like that. Uh, and also you can change the color of this calendar. So if I double click on this, right now all of the calendars are set to black. But let's say you wanted to match a color in the photograph. Let's say I wanted to match one of the darker reds in this shirt. So I get the get this red area up where I can see it. Got the calendar over here. I'm going to double click on the calendar. It's bringing up the color picker. And I'm going to sample this darker red in the shirt for my calendar color. And it's, it's kind of hard to see because we have the layer selected. Let me pick a little bit brighter color. You can see it maybe a little bit better. But you can see that we've now selected that red color as our actual calendar color. And if I, I'm going to deselect, uh, I'm going to select off of that uh, calendar so that you can see it a little bit better. If I can zoom in here and you can see now that there's clearly a color in there and it matches our photograph. So now we have a really nice looking calendar product. So don't forget to stop by and check out all of the great products and freebies at Photoshop Island, including a sample set of calendars for you to play with so you can get a sense of how these really work before you buy it. Thanks again.